Anyway, he's 26, I'm 26, but I'm a few months older. This kid, I'm gonna call him Kid now. <laughs> this kid is crazy. Hey guys and welcome back to another Russian video here on this YouTube channel, Slow Down and Vibe. Today we have more sp team related content and yes, I know I have literally dots on my face all over my body. It's because the sun is right on me, even though my shutters are closed. Uh, I can't really fix this other than, let me see. Yeah, no, I can't fix it. So it is what it is there on me. Um, I probably have to, you know, shoot this in like a different time of the day if I want that not to happen. But anyway, we're going to check out Philips um, album today. We're going to check out Philips complex album today with the first two songs. I'm going to literally go in order of uh, the album track list. So that means I will be starting today with superiority and drink smoke. And then next time we will go with um, Criminal and I will also be re-listening to Rockstar, which I've already reacted to the music video. If you want to see that direction and all other my sp related reactions is in the playlist and comment. Let's check out these two songs. Uh, by far the most requested things you want me to react to. I know a lot, I got a lot of other requests to all kinds of other stuff, but this is the stuff that I got the first and the most. And let's get it with Philips Superiority. Ooh, interesting. Oh my lord. That's kind of creepy, actually. Yeah. Seems very rocky, huh? No, no, no. This is so creepy, what? <laughs> it just goes back and forth now, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Hey, hey, yeah. I don't wanna be you. So deep. Oof. Stop pretending like me, kid. I get a bit louder here. Full English. Man, this. How old is Ken? Wait, wait, wait. How old is this man? SP19 Ken. Oh. <laughs> January 12th, 1987. Uh, happy late birthday, my man. But anyway, he's 26. I'm 26, but I'm a few months older. This kid, I'm gonna call him Kid now. <laughs> this kid is crazy. And today I'm wearing the cam. Um, in Ken style, you know, in Philip style. He really likes cap, so I figured why not. Wish you can be me, huh? Man, I love the... Like, it has aggressiveness on it, but it also has the... The ad-libs again, like... SP19 with the ad-libs these days is really, really good here. It continues on Philip's solo album, too. Oh, and yeah, I got some requests for his older solo songs as well, called Bulan and... What was the other one? There was another one. They both have music videos. Um, quite curious to check them out. So if you want me to check those... I will you know, do that in the future. And any other requests, of course, let me know in the comments. I respond to every comment. I read every comment. Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> Almost as cool as me. I like that he's not censoring this either. He's just swearing. Did not expect auto tune here. Sing rap almost. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Is he rapping? I feel like it's a rap song, right? But then this is kind of more like singing. Yeah, he's rapping. <laughs> Which I also, like, I know he can rap, I've heard, I just somehow didn't, I don't know why, I just somehow didn't expect him to rap on this album. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a continuous thing, right? I feel like in Rockstar it kinda happened too, but it's an intro-ish, so it's hard to tell. It's, it was more like a preview to the album. Um, But this is definitely a rap song. I, I love this. 
I need to make a Ken playlist for sure. Mm. Ooh, flow switch too. A rock star. You are my boy. I love this song already. It's a banger. Really love the vibe of it. It's super R&B esque. His voice is killing me, man. <laughs> I love this. Okay. good. That was great. Holy moly. Okay. Well, so just for reference, most people in my comments just said check out the whole EP. Some people said check out Criminal. That seems to be a favorite of a lot of people. Um, but I'm gonna check out the whole EP. So yeah, I'm gonna go with two songs at a time. Uh, since it's a six track album, I thought that is the, the best thing to do here. So today again, Superiority and then also Drink Smoke is the second one we're gonna check out. Um, Superiority was not a song. That's why I'm talking like this, that was really mentioned by you guys in the comments as like a standout song. So what I'm saying is nobody was like, oh, react to this song, right? They just said react to the Holy P. Fair enough, probably the Holy P is just great, uh, you know, based off of Rockstar and now this, I can tell it, it probably will be. <laughs> but my lord, this is so sick. Like, I I somehow expect more from Criminal and Drink Smoke because the, those were the two songs you guys uh, named the most and mentioned the most. You know, that's why I kind of expected a bit less from this one. Amazing. Already amazing. If this keeps going and even gets better, holy shit. I need to make a playlist. I need to make a playlist. Wow. Let's go. Drink smoke. This will be similar, if not the same video, I assume. Yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> We're just going to loop this. Honestly, it's a bit hypnotizing. So I'm going to watch this six times now, right? And it's a loop of like 10 seconds. So it already loops like 30 times in each video. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I love he kept the auto tune bit a little, but much more into the R&B than the rap. This guy is so good. Like he's already. I'm already simping for him when I see him. When I hear his voice, when he speaks, when he dances, everything. Right. I'm already simping for him in the SP19 kind of scheme. Like you saw that in my mana reaction, <laughs> which by the way, thank you so much for the whole support there uh, that popped off. I, I really didn't expect that. But when I witness him as a solo artist, it's kind of different, right? Like there's not much else to focus on than him. So I'm already like aware that I'm going to like this and I'm going to like him and stuff like that. So I can really deep dive and focus on other things, like literally the art he is doing. And it's, man... I I don't know how much I can stress the fact that coming from SB19, when I checked out Tila Lua and Burning, Alap, right, and there was Go, was it something with Go or something? The, the song that made them popular for the first time on Twitter back then. Uh, that era when I checked them out, right, they were so different to now. They feel much more mature, so much more confident. And you can really tell they went through a whole journey with their with their artistry and how much they changed. And it shows in the single members too, apparently, now with Ken, right? Uh, I, I got some requests for other solos. And for example, Stell, I think, had a lot of like TikTok covers. So a lot, I got some requests for that. And I'm probably going to get into that at some point, depending on what you guys request. But I'm really interested in in like the, the member journeys as well. It seems like they, not just as a group developed, but also as single members, like a lot, which is so cool to see. And this album is a banger. Two out of two songs I love. I will definitely recommend this to other people. First and foremost, my girlfriend, who is big into K-pop. So I assume the bridge is not too far. Um, she's into K-pop. She's from Vietnam. So I, I don't know. She she is probably has been exposed. And I think she talked to me about that even. She has been exposed to some Filipino music before. Um, so I hope she likes this since she also kind of into R&B and hip hop a bit. So yeah, I think she will. <laughs> and she loves deep voices. Um, one of her K-pop biases, uh, highest K-pop biases is Felix from Stray Kids. But anyway, I'm getting a bit out of hand here. Sorry for sharing my personal opinion uh, or story too much. 
Uh, not opinion, of course you're here for my opinion. But yeah, uh, let's go, let's go, drink smoke. <laughs> So good. I wanna what? Is it gonna be a switch up in a song now? Oh. Drink. This has a bit of a mellow rock feeling, you know. It's a little bit depressive feeling. But not much. It just has like a, a hint of that. But I like the vibe though. Ooh. What? One thing that really gets me in this is in the first two songs already, I check out from him. Rockstar kind of wasn't a song to me. It's just an intro, really, right? So you, you couldn't really see much of his artistry and his style and what he wants to do and how he sings, how he raps, and so on. He has so many different styles that he either tries or, out or that he's already good at. I mean, he is good. So I'm not too sure if this is the first time he does these little autotune singing bits and then he even has a different autotune uh, level and then he has sometimes no autotune and then sometimes he's just like singing very fast and that's very slow and vibey like he really and then the rap part of course especially in uh superiority yep superiority really really interesting how much different things he can do and what he also does in in, in one or two songs right and they all blends so well together like you would think that that feels messy and overwhelming and chaotic like the, these many things in one or two songs, right, and in one project, one album, but no, it, it works, because there's this underlying theme that kind of keeps going, which is like a vibey rock star slash R&B, like it reminds me a little bit of Post Malone or like The Weeknd or something, but you know, it's interesting. I like this. Just, I prefer Ken's voice over, although The Weeknd's voice is pretty good, but I definitely prefer Ken's voice over Post Malone's voice, and kind of the style is, uh, it works better, like it's more smooth, whereas Post Malone songs to me sometimes feel a little bit too full and poppy almost. But yeah, anyway, I love it. Yeah. And he's still rapping it out. Oh, love this part. Yeah. Oh, I've wait. I got goosebumps again. Oh my lord! Two videos in a row, guys. I got goosebumps now with Mana, um, and now here. Oh, this is so good. This hits ri literally right on my spot of music I listen to. I really love R and B music. I listen to it so much, almost every day, and hip hop too. Like it's the same, similar area, right? But. I talk too much, but I'm so excited about this. Yeah. Do, ooh, ooh. Love the instrumental so much. So he says, like, I was winning, I was winning all the smoking and drinking. It paints my world or something. That's what he says. So this is like a, a story of downfall, right? So it really makes me believe that this is like the... Oh, this album really tells a story that's so interesting to me. Is this his own life story? Because this is like from a superiority complex, which is really interesting, right? Like this is not a necessarily bad thing. It just happens to some people. I also had this at some point, especially like this perfect complex. Like you, you don't feel superior to other people necessarily. You feel superior to yourself in a way of you always want to achieve better things. Like if you achieve something great, you can never really be proud of yourself. You just try the next best thing and you want to improve again and again, even though you just achieved something good. That can also be that, and uh, now we're going into drinking and smoking because he cannot cope with the fact that he maybe cannot be perfect all the time, right? 
and then goes into criminal, which is really interesting. We really want to click on that right now, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna contain myself and do that next video. So um, yeah, uh, today is Tuesday by the time I'm recording this video, and I kind of want to publish this tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, so far, I think my first VSP19 videos have always been on a Friday, so uh, it has been a video a week. I kind of try to do it a bit more now, but also I'm in my exams phase right now still. So literally this Friday, I'm gonna write. A, the biggest exam, which is my Korean language exam. Yes, I study Korean um, on uni in university in Germany. Um, but next Monday I also have an exam. So after that, I will be more free. Obviously, I have a lot of stuff in my life to catch up on first. But I will probably also be doing a video around the next, uh, around Wednesday next week. And after that, I will have more time to to do more videos, right? Uh, because I literally don't have any more classes this semester until end of March. Uh, so I have a good month and a half to do a lot more and I'll be doing a lot more. So uh, yeah, you're welcome to be here on the channel to to join along, to follow along, to subscribe, to see more. And uh, one last thing I want to pitch to you guys here until the video is over. I really had this idea recently. Uh, I've been reading this book called The Art and Business of Online Writing, How to Beat the Game of Capturing and Keeping Attention, uh, written by Nicholas Cole, who is uh, one of the best writers in our modern generation, in my opinion. Um, he is... You just have to read a little bit into that book. You can find the, the first, like, what is it, like 30 pages for free on Kindle, if you have a Kindle. Uh, if you don't, just make an account, it's free. Um, 30, 30 pages is free, so it's a really good read, I can recommend. But anyway, I've been pitching this idea to you guys now. I kind of want to make some merch. I want to make some SB19 merch. Because I, I've been Googling it, and I don't really see much good things there. Like, it's just not that satisfying. It's, like, very lackluster. It's mostly out of stock. The official SB19 merch shop literally just has the album. That's it. Um, so I really want to make some SB19-related merch and inspired merch. If that it doesn't has, have to be necessarily... I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, but it doesn't have to necessarily be, like, SB19 and then their logo and whatever and, and 18. And we can do that, and I really want to do it too. But I also want to do, like, some things maybe, like, the members are about. You know, maybe, like, Ken, for example, since it's my bias, could start with that, where Ken stands for something, right? And we could go through this with the Complex album. Um, Ken stands for something, Maybe his motto, maybe it's something that he wants to preach, maybe it's kind of like a meme that he has or something like that, right? And we could make that into a t-shirt, for example, right? Or a mug or whatever. Um, and I'm really looking forward to doing that. First, first of course, we need to hit the 1,000 subscribers for that. And I need to uh, get partnered with YouTube so I can open an actual store over on my YouTube channel and then start working, which I could probably already do now. And by the time after my exams are over, start working on some designs. But really really interested and, and excited for that because I will also buy them myself and wear them myself. I uh, really want to make some cool stuff that looks nice and that I want to wear myself and hopefully you guys will enjoy too. So if there's any ideas you have, any things that you would like to, to see on merch, you know, um, any member related things, let me know what members you want to shirt for or like what kind of merch, you know, or if you have an idea of what meme or what preaching or what motto or what life goal or any any personal story that would make a good um, one-liner on a shirt, right? Let me know in the comments. I would be really interested uh, and pick that up and always comment, uh, read your comments and answer to your comments. So let's interact and let's build that. I'm really, really happy and, and excited to do that. And yeah, see you guys next uh, time for the next two songs for Philips album or... If you guys want to see something else, uh, just let me know the request. I might also do something in between, um, something else from SB19 or other artists. Uh, if that's Filipino or not, doesn't matter to me. But yeah, whatever you want to see, let me know. Have a nice day now. See you next one. Peace.